Massey High School. Pretty soon we shall connect live to KNUST where my colleague Emmanuel Bright Kweku will join us with some um, developments happening there ahead of the main competition. Emmanuel Bright Kweku, thanks so much for joining me once again. Uh, bring us up to speed on what we are missing out ahead of the competition, Ima. All right, Pius, definitely um, you do want to join me here at the Sarah Mensa Auditorium on the KNUST campus where all the excitement has been happening um, since morning. We saw Wesley girls um, just book a seat at the semi-final stage. And in this afternoon, we are having another thrilling con contest, I must say an enthralling one, uh, between Osage, Richie, SHS, and Kumasi High School, and also Achimota School, who are two-time champions of the National Science and Math quiz and i'll quickly want to call in um at Chimota school and um, they are just right here with me to have some short interactions and speak with them and um, sing their jama something to boost us um, ahead of this particular um contest this heated contest between um Ose Cheche and then kumase hi at Chimota school welcome now i want you to first of all how has the journey been for you um, i know you started all the way from um the preliminary stage up to the one eighth and then now you are here at the quarterfinal stage how does this make you feel we first of all want to thank god for how far he's brought us he's just been by his grace and he's awarding our hard work and we are grateful that's it's what awarding your hard work definitely i know you had some 66 points against holy child school and then a sin state that moment how did you feel are we expecting something like that in this particular contest Actions speak louder than words. Actions, we are going to borrow that of Holy Child's name. <laughs> All right, sure. so now, um, quickly, I have some teachers around here. Come closer to me, and then we have a short interaction. Now, how do you feel about your boys' performance? Are you confident that what they've done so far is what is going to be replicated in this particular contest? Because I know the Kumasi students, when they bring the euphoria, sometimes you, you, your students just go down. How prepared are your students for this particular contest? Well, this is the quarterfinal stage, and... We have new set of questions upgraded, and uh, the stage will speak. We won't say much, but we want to say that the stage is where the real quiz takes place. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, it's been a long time we saw Chimota School seed, and this year, fortunately, you've seeded. Um, how has this news been coming? Have you had any reactions from um, the students on campus and even the teachers or old students? Yeah, everybody is delighted. We are all delighted. Our hard work has brought it back, and we believe that we'll stay there for long. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now let me quickly, Mami, come closer to me, and let me find out from you also. Um, you are a teacher, right? No, I'm an old student. Old student of Achimota School. How does this make you? Your school, it's been a long time you saw Achimota seed. Now you are seeded. 2024, you don't have to start from the preliminary stage. All these years, what was going through your mind? Um, I think... The students have um, prepared well, and we have waited for the time when we'll have the breakthrough. So we thank God. Okay. Now, going forward, this is our contest, your contest between Kumasi High School and then Osage Richie. Are you sure or convinced, based on the performance we've had so far, um, your, your boys or your students can pull through? I think I had been watching them from home. And I have been very, very proud of them, not just me, but all the old students. And I have come this far because I told them that if they qualified to the quarterfinals, I'll be here to support them. And so we are here. Our God who has brought us this far would bring us to an expected end. Definitely. Now, do you share the same sentiments with the old students or the Accra? <laughs> Yes, please. Now, are you convinced that your boys can pull an impressive performance? You're having some 66 points from um, the 1-8 stage. Should we expect something, a score like that? Um, they're about to have the contest, so I believe everything will be witnessed well um, as the perform on stage. Right, so, so those are some of the contestants from um, Achimota School. Now, just before you guys go, I need you to sing your anthem for me. She's the head of the host. Of all the hosts, definitely. Now, let's do that quickly. One, two, go. From Kamwanda to Accra, from Biasu to Keta, we are brothers and our mother is a school. She will guide us all and lead, so to learn that we may teach, so to subjugate ourselves that we may rule. Live and live, shout and live, spread. Yes,
school of whom we boast. She is the glory of the coast. Ache Mota. When our books are laid aside and we scatter far and wide, we remember with affection all we gain. How we learn to take a share in the life and labor there, where the men of whom we are proud as always dream. You had some exciting sounds from Achimota School. They are ready and poised to face Kumasi High School and also Osei Chirechie Senior High School. Thank you very much um, for joining me. Now, I have the students um, from Osei Chirechie Senior High School. And um, they tell me they are the Ahinema. They are the Ahinema. And um, to translate that, is, um, they are the, 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 the words of the kings of the Ashanti. Ahinema. <laughs> Interesting. Ahenema. 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 So just to translate, it means um, they are pampered because they are royals or they're, they're the daughters and sons of royals. Now, guys, let me find out from you. Um, the journey hasn't been easy. Last year, um, you came to um, this particular stage, the quarterfinals, but you were kicked out by Abetifi Senior, Presby Senior High School. And then this time around, you are meeting at Chimota and then your very own city rivals, Kumase High School. So let me find out from you, how coming into a contest with Kumase High School, are you not in any way scared? Not at all. We started preparing these students from SH1, SHS1. And then... We have also done a series of trials to sharpen all rough edges. For high school, well, it takes, for everything, it is, there is a first time of doing everything. It took Spain 33 years to beat Netherlands in a football match. So today, we don't usually want to brag. We are just coming as underdogs. And on a cool note, we are going to beat high school today. Do you share the same sentiments? Yes, because the person we brought last year is times two now. Therefore, we are to win this quiz. Wait, the person is times two. Is it that the height has increased no, or what? Not the height. His intelligence. We are talking about intelligence. And what I have to like, I want to add up something. We've won this quiz spiritually and we are here to present it physically. <laughs> you won it was spiritually. But the other schools too, they, they've won it spiritually. Or no. you don't think so? For them, we don't believe in them. Why? Because uh, we've ever had a trial with them, then we overcome them. So Therefore, you... we overcome them here too. Okay, so you've met Kumasi High School and yes. you beat them. Them. How, how, how did that contest go? Oh, we find it tough, but this time around we are well prepared for them. So they will go home right after the contest. Okay, so now let me also find out from you. Um, your, your guy tells me Kumasi High School is no match at all. Do you, do you share the same sentiments? Oh, yes, please. Because we are coming with heat. Coming with heat. But they also, you see, when they came, there are a lot of them. Kumasi High School is, coming, is actually coming here with a lot of their boys. Inside the auditorium is really packed. You have most of Kumasi High School um, students there. You are not scared? Oh, no. Not intimidated? Oh, no. We don't fear um, their numbers. Okay, you, I, I heard you say something. That's simple. We are in for it. We are not here just to brag or something. We are in for it. This year is our year. We went for Interco, we won. Spazo, we won. And Milo, we went to finals, but we failed. But this time around, you are not failing, that's all. So. You are not failing at all. What, what is informing this? I can see you are really confident. Of course. Since we've done it, this is not the first time. Kumasi High is just on our fingertips. <laughs> you don't brag about this, but we are in for it. You have come to put them down, that's all. They are on your fingertips, as in you can just snap them away. They are our brothers. We've done something like this with them before. So we are not scared of them, not at all. If they break house of Ghana, we are not scared, that's all. <laughs> all right, so now let, let, let me also find out from you, gentlemen. You are in your cloth. How? Your, your brother is too confident they are going to beat Kumasi High School. Because I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, because we are, we are ready and we have prepared to face Kumasi High and then Atumota. Well, just before we came here, you were doing some bars around. Can, can you do something more? <laughs> here, you see, 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 
to me, oh, you can go and you can go and then curse us if you if you if you like, then oh, curse. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so so I see. Now coming into the contest, it won't be easy. Kumasi High School, it won't be easy, oh. Oh, like as my brother said, we have already won in spiritually, so we are here to just present it physically. Okay, all right. So now let's do your anthem and then a bit of jama before we go. So okay, let's let's start with your jama. One, two, okay, sure. Say, say, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, say. Let me find out. Your boys are confident. Are you sharing the same sentiments? I want to assure you that you are going to reach the next level. There's no doubt Kumasi High or Achimata can eliminate your case. We have prepared very well that we are going to reach the next stage. Semi-finals is our target. And after that, we move from there. So that's our target. So are you saying Kumasi High can't truncate your campaign? We met at the local stage about two times and we got eliminated. But we want to assure them that this is the international stage. We want to prove to them that God is watching. The one that they won, God was not watching. This is the international game. You are saying God wasn't yes, watching, that's why. Right. For the tires, another one there, and the uh, qualification, God doesn't watch them. But I want God to watch today so that we will make them for everybody to see that Okes has kept Kumasi high and Achimota. For Achimota there, I don't think they can match us because last year... They Achimota has won it um, two won times it and then right. even they are having the higher score, 66 points. Yeah, You meet other schools, you can get 66 or 90. But when you meet Okes, you make sure that you don't even reach uh, 42. Okes will get. A small margin. Yes. All right, so, so now let, let's quickly do your anthem or a bit of jammer, then we go. Okes, students, teachers, and workers. Okay, okay, so so wait, 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 wait for me. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What 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 are we to expect from your your students going forward? Like listen, you know, like when we're coming for this course, as a senior said, like they were saying Aquinas, Aquinas. And we told them who is Aquinas. Do you know the St. Joseph Seminary Senior High? In which we have the like we work at them, they are unbreakable. We are going to kill them. We are going to squeeze them and bust them and bust them. What are you going to do to them? Like, listen, listen we are going to win. Listen, we are, going, we are going to. Hey, oh, we are going to. We are going to win. We are going to win. Flagabas them, escabulate them, onomatopia them, enjoy them.
We are on cloud nine. We are so excited. I just want to tell the other students that they should prepare. They should prepare. Prepare to be sick of us. Our molecules are moving very fast. Effective collision. <laughs> Yo, 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 what, yo, what? Up? Molecules, they are just colliding, kinetic energy, hey, too much, too much, too much. Too much. The, other, the other school should fear, you are just going to collide. They should just go back, because their collision is not effective, it won't be effective this year. They should be what, perfect, effective, or inelastic? It will be inelastic, too. Why are you under my foot? I'll be you, Masham. 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 I'll be you, You, you told me earlier when we engaged you that your boys are fully prepared for this and in fact you've made your school proud tell me how you feel right now i can't express my feelings with the microphone i don't know how to feel I'm, I'm feeling you know already i told you we we're gonna take the contest and yes we did so looking at my boys yeah they're already prepared for this and you know what should i say you are, you, you are so happy you are so excited i, I want to be in your shoes right now <laughs> you can't be in because it's gonna weigh you up like it's gonna what it's gonna weigh you can't even walk with <laughs> your shoes are going to weigh me yeah because i'm super excited i'm overfilled with weather like which way can really describe excitement in my do, do you think that i'm going forward to the quarterfinal stage your boys can put up a masterful performance and then move on to the semis okay listen uh, my boys uh, they are really prepared for this and uh, the, whatever round next uh, we are already taking it we are coming for the cup not the next one you know we are going for the cup and every round is just a henneke like we won already oh really yes but then see the semi-finals is really going to be a tough one. Is it not going to be that? Is, is that not going to be the case for prior so? No, there's nothing tough for us anymore because we are done with this thing. We already planned it out. We know how to win this. We done with it. We won the game already. Our world is a complex one, and in it, only the smart and intelligent win. At Bright Senior High School, we know this. That's why, with our state-of-the-art science laboratory, customized textbooks, and curriculum-based workbooks, we continue to make history every year. For more than a decade, Bright Senior High School has choked stellar performances at the WASI, guided by smart and professional graduate teachers. At Bright Senior High School, every student is a priority. This school has groomed me for the future. I wasn't a good student when I came here, but now I'm noticed as one of the best students in this school. Admission is in progress. Call now on 0242-071-185 or 0277-147-727 or visit brightshs.com.gh. Bright Senior High School. Building dreams. Better tell you the truth, it's not the magic that make your dream come true and makes you achieve. But it's your hard work and your persistence. That's the way you will succeed. Dream the big goal, get up and do the road. But it's a long way to go. Oh, right and we help you walk the extra mile. If you don't have enough energy when you find yourself lost and weary. Don't worry. Right and will boost you up with goodness. If your stomach is empty, eat up, come on. Come on, we wanna see you happy. Let us be a deal. Let us be a friend. Let us be a friend. This advert is FDA approved. So, but let's pause for some breather. We'll be right back with more.
Hello, welcome back. This is still Joy News and of course the second round of the competition. We will go live now to Emmanuel Bright Kiku at KNUSD to bring us more reaction. Ima uh, take it away and tell us what is happening there now. All right, so Pius, it's excitement as I earlier indicated. And I have the men from Toronto Desert um, to join me. They are the Kumasi High School. And whilst they are even joining me, they're already singing some Jama song. They are telling us that this year they are going to finals. So, so let's have a feel of what you are singing right now. Uh huh. <laughs> Okay, so um, you had some excitement from um, Kumasi High School. Um, they, are, they, are, they are telling their opponents um, at Chimota School and then Osei Chiritre Senior High School that today is not their day. They are definitely going home because they are already seated at the semi-final stage. And I want to in interact with them. I can see you are hyper. More than hyper. You see, there is a Latin quote which says, Ki muntum datum, ki samuntum expectatum. Which means, which means, to whom much is given, much is expected. Let's go to the Bible. When you go to John chapter 8, verse 58, the Bible says, before Abraham was, I was. So listen, our message, our message today is simple. Before Okes and Motan was, high school we were. You see, there is, there is only high school. There is a lot of secondary schools in Ghana, but there is only one high school. That is Kumase High School. Our message is simple today. We practice, we pray, and we win. So our message to them is that congratulations for losing the contest. High school, we are moving on to the next stage. Oh my God. Oh my God. But, but how? Why are you so confident? Are you sure the boys? Because Aww. from my, my scores I've gathered so far, high school, don't, you don't have much the, score as against the, the other the schools. The NSM code depends on the people you meet. Today, we see the schools to be our prelims. You see, we should have met them earlier. Because the case is not your school. No. You understand it. It's more town in school. Uh, no. no. There's only one school That's in Ghana, which is Kumase High School. Action! Emrante, action! Emrante, action! Emrante, action! Now let me find out for me. Do you share the same sentiment? You said, to whom much is expected? Yes. To whom much is given, much is expected. So, are you sure we are expecting much from your boys? Of course, we are. We are coming to win the battle. That's all. You're seeing this as a battle? Ah. No, 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 no. This is a simple. That's simple. Yes. yes. Simple. Yes. Simple. Yes. Okay, so you are an old student. Please come closer. Let me find out for you. You were leading the jammer for the guys. How confident are you that your boys are going to win or take you to the semifinals as you were singing? Okay, so uh, in key, I'll say that. Okay, they are here that that. And yet they cry. And then if you can zoom into our school crest, what do you see? Fire. Fire. Oh, Truth yeah. conquers. Yeah. Truth conquers. Yeah. Yes, so they are already fired. Yeah. When you are coming, they had Kumasi High School. Yeah. Now they are on stage with Kumasi High School. Yeah. You see how they were singing their anthem and that. 
they are already they have already they lost. Already. That's all I can say. They have already <laughs> lost. It's now, not going with you. Now, during the regionals, um, high school, unfortunately, you couldn't get to the finals. Um, have you rectified anything that would ensure that this time round, and um, you get to the semi-finals, and hopefully, because high school, from what I know, high school hasn't been to the finals before. Yes, 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 yes. We actually. Pri prepared ourselves to come for the finals today. So we weren't even concerned about the original contest and anything. Today, this time around, we are aiming for the trophy, and that is why we are here. We are here to claim the trophy. Okay, so, so that's um, an old student um, from um, Kumasi. Do you have any bars for me? Yeah. Okay, let, let's sing your anthem and then we go. Those are some students from um, Kumase High School singing their anthem. And just about now, we are having the Christmas stress um, start the contest between Osei Treche, SHS, and also Achimota School and also Kumase High School. As the boys promised, they are hoping to be seeded or get to the semi final stage of the National Science. So these are the gentlemen from um, Kumasi High School. And quickly, um, the quiz mistress is about starting the contest, and then we just kick started. Hopefully, Kumasi High School is hoping to be see, um, get to the semi-final stage, and for the first time, get to um, the final stage, and hopefully, cleanse the trophy. So these are the guys from Kumasi High School. We quickly go to um, the main auditorium where the quiz mistress is ready for now. Riddles, they get 1,600 Ghana CDs. If they solve two out of the four, they get 1,000 Ghana CDs. And if they solve one, they get 500 Ghana CDs. Well done, go. <laughs> Before we meet the contestants, I would like to acknowledge our sponsors. The National Science and Math Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with Goal PLC and supported by Joy News, AT, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Pepsodent Toothpaste, Better Malt, Ghanaian Academic and Research Network, Coronation Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City University College, Cal Bell, Bell Beverages, GTP, Newmont Ghana, Africa World Airlines, and YFM. My name is Elsie Fakoffman. I am an associate professor of biomedical engineering, University of Ghana, and also the dean of the School of Engineering Sciences, University of Ghana. Thank you. This is a prime time production. Now let's meet the contestants. Kumase High School is represented by Jan Ratikambo, Sikenye. <laughs> Martin Sinampon Sankob in the final year. <laughs> You're welcome, gentlemen. How are you? Oh, we are fine. Great. Uh, yes. So this is the 30th anniversary of the National Science and Math Quiz, a program that is much older than you, right? Yes, madam. When did you start watching it? Um, back when I was at GHS. GHS. Yeah. And what did you like about it? I, the speed that the contestants used to solve those questions. Yes. Really made me happy. I see. Good. And you? I started watching it when I was very little, but at that time it was on GTV. Mm -hmm. So I really liked the true or false part where they will write the answers at the bottom. Then I'll cover it, then say true. 
If I move my hand and it's correct, then I'll be happy. Yay! <laughs> We have fond memories. Anything you want to say before I move on? Yes, Madam, we qualified from the one eighth stage and now we are at the quarterfinals. But the message is still the same. We pray, we practice, and we win. Best wishes. At Motor School is represented by Elagbe Water View, final year. Ekbajo, Kenneth Bakita, final year. You're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. How are you doing? Wonderful, wonderful. So 30th anniversary of National Science and Math Quiz. What are your earliest memories? Did you start watching when you were babies? Yeah, I started watching when I was very young, like uh, primary, when I was in primary school. I started watching and sometimes the two of us, I don't know, but I'll be guessing someone and stuff. Yeah. I started liking it from a very long time ago. Okay, that's good. And you? Uh, almost the same. started watching it very early and it was a really interesting thing to watch. Yeah. Okay, so this is the true or false. Which was your favorite round? Oh, it was also the true or false. The true or false. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to add? I just want to say we have come to give off our best, and God is with us. Okay. Best wishes. Osei Tree Tree Senior High School is represented by... Which one is present? You are welcome, gentlemen. How are you? Great. So 30 years of NSMQ. How much of it have you watched in your lifetime? Your short lifetime? When did you start watching? Um, in 2021, when I came to SHS. I see. Yes. Late. Yes. And you? I started watching when I was in DHS Form 2. Okay. And what were you doing? Which part was your favorite? Uh, I just liked how the morale went, like how the supporters were supporting the contestants on TV. <laughs> and, and the part I like was uh, the speed race. The speed race, yeah. okay. Uh, All right, that's good. Yes, yeah, so gentlemen, I understand you are evangelists. Can you evangelize us a bit before I go? Oh. Uh, okay, we are both Adventists and by God's grace, we've been privileged to be here. And whatever that happens is for the will of the Lord to be made known, and not the will of man. I wish you well. The first round is a round for fundamental concepts. The questions are simple and direct. I'm expecting simple and direct answers from you. If you answer your major question correctly, three points. If the question is incorrectly answered, it becomes available to the two remaining schools. A school may ring and attempt an answer. If right, one bonus point. If not, there is a penalty, one point. For questions which require calculations, 
you have 30 seconds to present your answer. If there are no calculations, you have 10 seconds to do so. Gentlemen, all of the questions are to be attempted once only. Best wishes to all three schools. You know I'm starting with you, right? Good. Okay. For the first set of questions, you have 10 seconds. First one, or say tree Name the cells that are present only during tooth development and are responsible for the deposition of tooth enamel. Richmond, go ahead. Okay, we have the growth cells. That's incorrect for a bonus. They are called the meloblasts. Achimota School, which cells secrete the dentine of a tooth? Yes, uh, Bakita. Osteogenic cells. That's incorrect. Yes, uh, Martinson. Odontoblasts. You are right. Your major question. What name is used to describe teeth fixed in the socket of the jawbone? Is that hand up, Martinson? Go ahead. We have Tiokudont. Pardon? You couldn't. No. For a bonus. It's fecodont. Fecodont, not theocodont. Next set, 30 seconds. And I have a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Find the equation of the locus of the point P with coordinates x, y, which is equidistant from the given point and the given line. Please note that your answer must come in the form y squared is equal to f of x. Please, did you get your preamble? Again, find the equation of the locus of the point P with coordinates x, y, which is equidistant from the given point and the given line. And you are to express your answer in the form y squared is equal to f of x. All right, so now I say the point A has coordinates 6, 0, and the line is x is equal to 2. Yes, Richmond. Y squared is equal to 12x minus x squared minus 32. That's incorrect. For well, bonus. Okay, I'll hold on to the answer. Hachimoto School with the same preamble. Your point B has coordinates negative 3, 0, and the line is x is equal to 3. Y 
Walter. Walter. Okay. We have y squared is equal to negative 12x minus 18. That's incorrect. For bonus. I'm holding on to your answer as well. With the same preamble, Kumasi High School, your point C has coordinates 4, 0, and the line is x is equal to negative 4. Yes, Martinson. We have y squared is equal to 32x plus 128. That's incorrect for a bonus. <laughs> ah. Also, Chichi, your answer is y squared is equal to 8x minus 32. Achimota School, your answer is y squared is equal to negative 12x. And uh, Kumasi High School, your answer is y squared is equal to 16x. I have confidence you'll figure this out in no time. Next set, 30 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. A long solenoid wound with n tens per unit length, each turn of radius r, carries current i. Find the magnitude of the magnetic flux through a coaxial loop encircling the solenoid, giving that... One more time, okay. A long solenoid wound with n tens per unit length each turn of radius r carries current i. Find the magnitude of the magnetic flux through a coaxial loop encircling the solenoid, given that n is equal to 5.0 times 10 raised to the power 3 per meter, r is equal to 2.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 2 meter, and I is equal to 4.0 ampere. Austin. Uh, Two point five by 10 exponent, negative 2 Tesla. That's incorrect. For bonus? Yes. Martinson, go ahead. We have 2.5 millitesla. That's incorrect. I will hold on. Achimota School with the same preamble. N is equal to 4.0 times 10 raised to the power 3 per meter. R is equal to 5.0 times 10 to the power negative 2 meter. And I is equal to 2.0 ampere. For bonus. Oh. All right, I'm holding on to that as well. Uh, Kumasi High School with the same preamble. N 
is equal to 4.0 times 10 raised to the power 3 per meter. R is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 2 meter. And I is equal to 3.0 ampere. Martinson. <coughs> okay. We have seven seven point five by ten raised to an exponent of negative three minus three Tesla. That's incorrect for a bonus. All right. Or your answer was 3.2 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 Weber at Motor School, 7.9 times 10 raised to the power negative 5 Weber, and then uh, Kumase High, 4.7 times 10 raised to the power negative 6 Weber. All right. The oxidation state of a metal M in a nitride is plus 2. What is the formula of the nitride? Richmond? Okay, we have M3 N2. You are right. Oxidation state of a metal M in an oxide is plus 2.5. What is the formula of the oxide? Walter? M4O5. You are right. The oxidation state of a metal M in a sulfide is plus 5. What is the formula of the sulfide? Yes, Martinson. M to S5. You are right. What is respiration quotient? Yes, Richmond. Respir respiration quotient is the ratio of carbon dioxide, that's the concentration of carbon dioxide, to the ratio of uh, concentration of oxygen in. At one exhalation and um, inspiration process, thus the ratio of concentration of carbon dioxide exhaled to that of oxygen concentration inhaled. I'm not accepting it. Yeah. Respiratory quotient refers to the ratio of the carbon dioxide evolved or released to the amount of oxygen absorbed in, in a biochemical equation or reaction. Not for bonus. I will explain in a bit. Ashimoto School. 
Why is respiratory quotient infinite in anaerobic respiration? Yes, Walter. This is because during anaerobic respiration, you will not have the use of oxygen. So because respiratory quotient is the ratio of the carbon dioxide produced to the oxygen required during respiration, O as being the denominator will be zero, making it infinite. Yes. Master Hai, why is the respiratory quotient in succulent plants less than one in the night? Martinson, is that hand up? Go ahead. Okay. This is because um, the ones in the Dark. Um, the ones in the dark um, requires more, um, like evolve more um, oxygen, and the ones in the sunlight evolve less oxygen. So, um, in the process of res um, respiration. The ratio of the amount of carbon dioxide to the amount of oxygen induced in sunlight um, reduces. I'm not accepting it for a bonus. Okay, so now listen. So the respiration quotient, first of all, you were talking about concentrations. It's not about concentrations, really. It's a dimensionless number. It's used in calculating the basal metabolic rate when estimated from carbon dioxide production to oxygen absorption, okay? And now, it's the volume of carbon dioxide that is released over the volume of oxygen that is absorbed during respiration. That's why you went wrong. You just kept in the biochemical reaction in other things. It's respiration. Hmm? So it's a specific thing involved in respiration. So it's respiration quotient. Okay, now uh, the last one. Why is the respiratory quotient less than one in the night for these succulent plants? It's because of incomplete oxidation of carbohydrates, which leads to production of acids such as malic acid, oxalic acid, and in extreme cases, this is the extreme case, you can't even have CO2 being formed at all, being evolved at all. And so this will make the respiratory quotient less than one. I hope I have explained myself. Okay, great. Next set, 30 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Preamble. Solve the trigonometric equation for X in the interval pi over 2 less than or equal to x less than pi. Please, did you get your preamble? Again. Solve the trigonometric equation for x in the interval pi over 2 less than or equal to x less than pi. All right. So, Osechi Chui. 2 multiplied by sine squared of x plus cosine of x minus 2 is equal to 0. Yes, Richmond. Um, X is equal to pi on two. Yes. With the same preamble. 
2 multiplied by cosine squared of x plus sine of x minus 2 is equal to 0. Walter. Okay. X is equal to. Isn't that the same for to X negative one. Sign. X is equal to pi on two radian. That's incorrect. Yes, Martinson. X is equal to. 5 pi over 6 radians. Yes. <laughs> now your major question with the same preamble. Sine squared of x minus cosine of x minus 1 is equal to 0. Martinson. We have... Um, pi over two radians. Okay. <laughs> Next set, 30 seconds. What's that, Chichi? Find the young modulus of a substance for which a tensile stress of 1.5 megapascal produces a strain of 0 0.020 percent. Richmond. Okay, we have seven point five by ten exponents seven Newton per meter squared. That's incorrect. Yes, Walter. Seven point five gigapascal. Yes. <laughs> now your major question. If the Young modulus of a substance is 18 gigapascal, what tensile stress is required to produce a 0.050% tensile strain in a wire made of the substance? Walter. We have mega right. nine point zero mega pascal. You're right. <laughs> Master High School. Find the young modulus of a substance for which a tensile stress of one point five mega pascal produces a strain of 0 0.0033%.
Martinson. We have four point five by ten raised to an exponent of ten of ten Pascal. You are right. Next one, 30 seconds. But it's one of those questions which goes around. So I'll come to your school, you give me a right answer, and then I move on for the next right answer. No bonus this time. Is that all right? Okay, so the question. Give the systematic name of one isomer of the compound with molecular formula C5H10, given that it is a substituted unsaturated hydrocarbon. First choice of H3. Okay, we have two methyl, two butene. Yes. Next choice, Achimota School. Three methyl, one butene. You are right. And Kumase High, last one. Yes. Two, two, di metal propene. That's incorrect for a bonus. I said no bonus. I said no bonus. All right. The one I was expecting was two methyl. One butene. A lot simpler than you were thinking. All right. Next one is another one of those. I'm going to go around collecting right answers. When I get to you, please provide me with a right answer that has not yet been given by anyone else. Okay? All right. So this is the question. Give one reason, only one reason why membranes made of cellulose are used for dialysis. First choice, or H3. Yes, Richmond. Okay, membranes are of, made of cellulose are used for dialysis, and this is because the cellulose, which for is a polymer of that is a carbohydrate, and due to this, its its compositions are that it contains um, glucose monomers, which makes it suitable for the uh, for the dialysis process. This is because it is made of um, monomer units of glucose, which are stuck together to form the complex polymer, and this makes it suitable for make for the process of dialysis. That's incorrect. So I'm moving on. Ashimoto School. Yes, Bakita. And this is because cellulose is made up of substances that the enzymes that are present in the blood won't be able to destroy. And so it is used because it won't be digested or destroyed by the enzymes that are present in the blood. Mm, no. I'm moving on to Kumase High School. Yes, Martinson. Okay, this is because membranes made of cellulose possess semi-permeability property, such that um, it will allow some molecules to pass through it while preventing other molecules of some um, suitable size from passing through it. Again, you are thinking much more complicated things than I was expecting. 
several reasons. First then is that cellulose is easily available, readily available. In fact, very easy to obtain cellulose, okay? Second one, it doesn't cause any harm to the blood or body. So in other words, if I were teaching my biomaterials class, I would say it's a hemocompatible material or a biocompatible material, right? Okay. It has a good pore size. So maybe if you had rephrased what you were saying better. So the pore size, it has a suitable pore size for the function, right? So suitable porosity and pore size. Um, it is affordable or cheap, whatever you want to use to call it. And then if you actually know enough uh, chemistry and material science, you can easily modify it to improve its properties like strength, right? So it makes it a very useful material for dialysis. And dialysis has been in the news a lot lately, right? Ghana, how people are suffering. Did you people know that cellulose is used in the dialysis for filtration? Okay, so those who didn't know, this is your message for today. Take that with you. All right, next set. 30 seconds with a very short preamble. Preamble to all schools. Evaluate the definite integral. That's the preamble. I hope you got it. Evaluate the definite integral. So I'll say three, three. Integral from negative 1 to 2 of the expression 6x squared minus 6x plus 3 dx. Richmond. 18. You are right. <laughs> With the same preamble. Integral from negative 2 to 1 of the expression. 9x squared plus 4x minus 8 dx. Walter? Negative three. Yes. <laughs> With the same preamble. Integral from negative one to two of the expression. 12x squared minus 6x minus 5 dx. Go ahead. You have zero. That's incorrect. Okay. Twelve. <laughs> Next set, 30 seconds with a preamble to all schools. Please pay attention to this preamble. Hollow 1.00 meter long cylindrical shell of radius R and mass M is released from rest at a height H on a plane inclined at 60 degrees to the horizontal and rolls down the plane without slipping. Find only the rotational kinetic energy of the cylinder at the bottom of the plane for the given values of R, M, and H, assuming the plane is located in a region where the local gravity 
is G. Did you get your preamble? Again. A hollow 1.00 meter long cylindrical shell of radius R and mass M is released from rest at a height H on a plane inclined at 60 degrees to the horizontal and rolls down the plane without slipping. Find only the rotational kinetic energy of the cylinder at the bottom of the plane for the given values of R, M, and H, assuming the plane is located in a region where local gravity is G. Now, M is equal to 3.00 kilogram. R is equal to 0 0.200 meter. H is equal to 5.00 meter. And G is equal to 9.80 meters per second. Richmond. Okay, we have one point four seven Jews. That's incorrect for a bonus. <laughs> hmm. I'll keep the answer. Achimota School M is equal to five point zero zero kilogram. R is equal to 0 0.250 meter. H is equal to 4.00 meter. And G is 9.79 meter per, per second. Yes, Walter. It equals zero point three one Jews. That's incorrect for a bonus. Hmm. Kumasi High School M is equal to six point zero zero kilogram. R is equal to 0 0.320 meter, H is equal to 8.00 meter, and G is equal to 9.80 meter per second squared. Is that hand up, Mattinson? Yes, my Go dear. ahead, please. We have three point one four by ten to the power two joules. That's incorrect for a bonus. Okay, so I said three three yours was seventy three point five joules. Achimota School, yours was 97.9 .9 joules. And Kumasi High School, yours was 235 joules. Last set of questions for the round, 30 seconds. With a preamble to all schools. Please pay attention to your preamble. You are given the following bond energies in kilojoule per mole. Carbon, carbon, triple bond, 840. Carbon, carbon, double bond, 614. Carbon, carbon, single bond, 350. Carbon, hydrogen, single bond, 415. Carbon, bromine, single bond, 276. 
and bromine, bromine, single bond, 193. Please, I hope you got your preamble again. Okay. You are given the following bond energies in kilojoule per mole. Carbon, carbon, triple bond, 840. Carbon, carbon, double bond, 614. Carbon, carbon, single bond, 350. Carbon, hydrogen, 415. Carbon, bromine, 276. And bromine, bromine, 193. All right, so I'll say Calculate the magnitude of the enthalpy of bonds formed when ethane reacts with excess bromine. Did they make it or not? For well, bonus. Okay, bonus. Go. Okay. It's positive. We have positive 1,100 kilojoule per mole. No. Now, with the same preamble, your major question. Calculate the magnitude of enthalpy of bonds broken when ethene reacts with bromine. Yes, Walter. Negative 807 kilojoule per mole. That's incorrect. Yes, Martinson. You have 807 kilojoules. That's incorrect. <sighs> With the same preamble, your major question. Last question of the round. Calculate the magnitude of enthalpy of bonds formed when propene reacts with hydrogen. Martinson. You have 1,180 kilojoules. That's incorrect for a bonus. Okay, so now the answers. <sighs> I'll say yours. 2,284 kilojoules per mole. Uh, at school, 2,467 kilojoules per mole. And then Kumase High School, 4,020 kilojoules per mole. That's the end of the first round.
Our world is a complex one, and in it, only the smart and intelligent win. At Bright Senior High School, we know this. That's why, with our state-of-the-art science laboratory, customized textbooks, and curriculum-based workbooks, we continue to make history every year. For more than a decade, Bright Senior High School has choked stellar performances at the WASI, guided by smart and professional graduate teachers. At Bright Senior High School, every student is a priority. This school has groomed me for the future. I wasn't a good student when I came here, but now I'm listed as one of the best students in this school. Admission is in progress. Call now on 0242-071-185 or 0277-147-727 or visit brightshs.com.gh. Bright Senior High School. Build... doesn't matter. The Bible makes me understand from the book of 1 Samuel that David said that, and this congregation shall know that the Lord saves not by sword or by spear or by javelin, but uh, uh, that, the, that God is going to do that mighty wonders in this particular um, contest. So we know that we are going to um, win this contest and we'll win it with, um, with that much um, marks that has never been made. At the end of the first round, Kumase High School has eight points. Osei Chichia Senior High School has 13 points. Achimota School has 15 points. a long way to go. Four more rounds. Round two is known as the Pepsodent Speed Race. In this round, I'm going to be presenting the questions to all three schools at the same time. For an opportunity to answer a question, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell, Kumasi High School? Thank you. Your Sachimoto School. And your Society Tree Senior High School. If 
if you ring an answer correctly and it's a first attempt at the question, three points. Second attempt, two points. A third attempt, one point. But please take note that if you attempt to answer a question and you are unsuccessful, unsuccessful being you provide a wrong answer, or you are unable to provide an answer within three seconds, mm, you lose a precious point. Please, you will be alerted if you fall out of the three seconds. May I please hear the bell for the fallout? Okay, so you hear that, that means you've already collected your negative one. So don't bother telling me, madam, and other things. I'm not interested. Uh huh. Get straight to the point. No, I have, we have, madam, say, no, straight to the point, okay? All right, good. All right, if the question requires calculation, you have up to 30 seconds to provide an answer. If there are no calculations, you have the usual 10 seconds. Hmm. This round, the Pepsodent Speed Race, is sponsored by Pepsodent Toothpaste. Every smile matters. All right. There's somebody on my set. Best wishes to everyone. First set of questions, each 30 seconds. First one. What is the empirical formula of a nitrogen oxide containing 36.8% nitrogen? Yes, Martinson. Go ahead. N three U four. That's incorrect. Uh, Austin. N O T. That's incorrect. Yes, uh, Walter. You have N three O five. No. The right answer is N203. Next one. Determine the mass of nitrogen dioxide formed when 0 0.5 mole of zinc nitrate undergoes thermal decomposition. Yes, Walter. Okay. We have 46. 40. 46 grams. Yes. <laughs> Next one. How many atoms are present in four formula units of three Octanoon. Walter? 112. That's incorrect. Who else rang? Have you rang? Yes, Austin. 100. 100. Yes, 100. Ten seconds each. Which property of a hormone causes it to not 
display its complete effect without the presence of another hormone. The property is permissiveness. What name is given to microorganisms which can grow well either aerobically? Yes. Often. Yeah, facultative microorganisms. No, I'm not accepting it. Who else rang? Go ahead. We have facultative aerobes. Pardon? Facultative aerobes. No. Did you ring? Aerobically or anaerobically? Yes, Walter. Facultative anaerobes. Yes, that's the one. Next one. What name is given to artificial or synthetic insulin prepared by the application of recombinant DNA technology? Yes, Martinson. You have humulin. No. Humulin is a trade name. It's a trade name. What it is, is a genetically engineered insulin. Okay? Genetically engineered insulin. Next set, 30 seconds each. First one. The center of a circle lies on the line y is equal to negative x and the circle touches the y-axis at y is equal to 5. Find the equation of the circle. Yes, Walter. We have that's happening we multiply by four. Four x squared plus four y squared is equal to twenty five. No. The right answer. The expression x plus five squared plus the expression y minus 5 squared. That y minus 5 squared is equal to 25. Okay, so. Next one. The gradient of a curve is 2kx minus 6, where k is a constant. Find the equation of the curve if it has a stationary point at a with coordinates 1, Yes, Richmond. Go ahead, Richmond. Okay, we have y to be equal to y is equal to six x squared minus. 6x plus, plus 2. That's incorrect. Did anyone else ring? Okay, go ahead, Walter. Y is equal to 3x squared minus 6x plus 8. 
is the yes. pump. Next one, solve the equation. Log to the base 2 of the expression x plus 10. Plus log to the base 2 of the expression x plus 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by log to the base 2 of the expression x plus 4. Martinson. Okay, x is equal to negative 1. You are right. <laughs> Last set, 30 seconds each. First one. A spring mass system with spring constant 4.0 times 10 raised to the power 2 newton per meter and mass 1.0 kilogram is periodically excited by an external force. Find the frequency of the periodic external force at which the oscillations of the spring mass systems have the greatest amplitude. Yes, Walter. That's 20 rad per second. That's incorrect. Who else rang? Yes, Matheson. We have um, 3.2 heads. Yes. Next one. An amplifier is composed of an op amp with a 50 kilo ohm resistor connected between ground and its inverting input and a 100 kilo ohm resistor between its output and its inverting input. Find the output voltage when a 2 millivolt signal. Yes, Martinson. We have negative 4 millivolts. That's incorrect. <laughs> signal is supplied directly to the non inverting input of the op amp. Contestants don't want this one. The right answer is six millivolts. Last one for the round. A particle moves with constant acceleration I minus J meter per second squared. Find the velocity of the particle 15 seconds after its velocity attains negative six I meter Per second. Yes, Walter. We have nine I minus fifteen J all in meter per second. You're right. And that's the end of the second round.
Our world is a complex one, and in it, only the smart and intelligent win. At Bright Senior High School, we know this. That's why, with our state-of-the-art science laboratory, customized textbooks, and curriculum-based workbooks, we continue to make history every year. For more than a decade, Bright Senior High School has choked stellar performances at the WASI, guided by smart and professional graduate teachers. At Bright Senior High School, every student is a priority. This school has groomed me for the future. I wasn't a good student when I came here, but now I'm listed as one of the best students in this school. Admission is in progress. Call now on 0242-071-185 or 0277-147-727 or visit brightshs.com.gh. Bright Senior High School. Building dreams. It feels like becoming an entrepreneur aside academics is never going to be possible when you're in school. Mainly because we feel that we are young and we don't have the resources and the guts to be one. But if you believe in yourself and you have the passion to become an entrepreneur, then you already are. Staying ahead in a highly competitive environment requires applying creativity and innovation to every aspect of your journey to becoming an entrepreneur. Presently, entrepreneurship is driven by creativity and innovation to attain business objectives. The explosion in technology, business, entrepreneurship and consumption in this new era is as a result of the ongoing application of innovation. Milton Bell once said, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. So, if you are ready to be an entrepreneur, Heritage Christian College is ready for you. Heritage Christian College moves you from a wantrepreneur to become an entrepreneur. Virtual Security Africa is your number one provider of a complete integrated electronic security solutions and services in Ghana and Africa. Trust me, from CCTV surveillance, access control systems, intruder and panic alarms, fire alarm systems, physical security and inspection systems such as x-ray scanners, vehicle boom barriers, road blockers, etc. And they even have public address and intercom systems and many other facilities for your home's offices and even large enterprises. VSA offers a lifetime after sales support. Call VSA today on 0558-740-764 or visit their showroom at Nana Adepa Plaza, Jolu, opposite the UBA or visit their website at www.virtualsecurityafrica.com. Virtual Security Africa, complete security solutions. We are at the top of round three. Round three has the problem of the day. At stake in this round is the Prudential Life Insurance and SMQ star. The star is an award to any school that earns a perfect score of 10 points for the problem of the day. And at this stage, it's worth 2,800 Ghana CDs. Um, so we are grateful to Prudential Life Insurance Ghana for the NSMQ star. Prudential Life Insurance Ghana for every life, for every future. So the problem of the day is a problem that is going to engage you for four minutes. I will present a single question to all three schools. Is there a problem? From the time I ask you to begin, you will have four minutes to present an answer on the screens behind you. As mentioned, the problem of the day is worth 10 points. Contestants, you may now stand, drop all your pens, and then pick up the problem of the day so that we can read it together. We are just reading at this stage. Problem of the day. In a potential metric titration in the laboratory, a student observes the progress of the reaction between hydrofluoric acid and potassium hydroxide by adding an increasing amount of the base into the acid in a conical flask using a pH meter. Given that 20 centimeter cubed of 0.10 mole per decimeter cubed acid and 0.025 mole per decimeter cubed base were used find the following. One, 
the pH of the acid before addition of the base. Two, the concentration of the salt present at the equivalence point. And three, the concentration of the base present, if any, after 180 centimeter cubed of it has been added. Note that the dissociation constant of hydrofluoric acid is 1.0 times 10 raised to the power negative 5. Contestants, this is your problem of the day. You may now begin. Security Africa is your number one provider of a complete integrated electronic security solutions and services in Ghana and Africa. Trust me, from CCTV surveillance, access control systems, intruder and panic alarms, fire alarm systems, physical security and inspection systems such as x-ray scanners, vehicle boom barriers, road blockers, etc. And they even have public address and intercom systems and many other facilities for your home's offices and and even large enterprises. VSA offers a lifetime after sales support. Call VSA today on 0558-740-764 or visit their showroom at Nana Adepa Plaza, Jolu, opposite the UBA or visit their website at www.virtualsecurityafrica.com. Virtual Security Africa, complete security solution. Two, 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 two. 